Hello, hello, everybody. How's you doing? It's Angie coming to you this Tuesday evening for a Margaret Miller Collage Challenge Week 16. I'm going to get right into this today. It's kind of late, so I thought I'd get this knocked out and get done with this one. We are on week 16. The prompts for this week are weather, whatever that means to you. And for that, I chose a postcard here that has um, like a wet scene of a lighthouse with the waves and all the clouds and the sun bursting through. It's just a beautiful scene. So I thought I, was, I would use that for weather. A person or people. I chose a couple of Tim Holtz little paper dolls. So I thought I'd use either one or both of them. Handwriting. I had this print, this print that I was going to use um, for something else, and it, as you can see, it didn't print properly. I didn't um, change the uh, things on my printer, so it printed uh, off. It was off print, so I figured I didn't want to throw it away. I'd use it for something, so maybe I can use that. And then it asked for a map, and I've got this pretty colorful print of the. Let's see map here which don't even really know where it is what part uh, the Atlantic Ocean there okay so I thought I'd use that a number I have these leftover um, stickers from this graduation pack that I had and I got these numbers and I saw the one six sitting right there so I thought I'd put week 16 on there somewhere and then for a bonus, it says a rubber stamping in two different colors. So I chose my Distress Inks this week, which is Vintage Photo and uh, Broken China. And since it's kind of a weathery outdoor scene, I thought I'd tie in some of that blue for the sky, maybe, or what have you. And then also, as a second edition, where it says handwriting, I was going to use these rubber stamps, and there's, there's handwriting in this stamp, too. So I might be able to incorporate that in there for additional for there okay all right so let's get started let me pull up these sleeves a little bit and we'll get going how is everyone today hopefully well I'm doing good still trying to oh I'm sorry and I found these little flags I don't know why but I grabbed those maybe just for some color or just some addition on the page something interest I don't know I thought maybe I might be able to incorporate some of those but anyway as I was saying still trying to just get through this spring snow storm week that we're dealing with here in Colorado. Um, there's not snow currently, but it is cold. And it was flurrying a little bit earlier today while I was out. I had some errands and some appointments I had to do. And it was um, kind of spitting snow, but nothing, nothing substantial yet. So we'll see what that goes. But it is cold. It's only, it's about... They say it's about 31 or 32 right now, but with the wind chill, it seems much colder, much, much colder. Okay, I'm just trying to decide how I want to do this. So I need to keep that open. Hmm. So colorful, I kind of just want to use that whole page, to be honest with you. But... I don't want to. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to just use, um, go back to my Elmer's glue stick here. I'm going to try something. I don't know how it's going to work, but hang with me, guys. Hang with me. this stuff down so it doesn't move on me and then I'm going to come back and tear off the section to reveal the prompts and the notes section because I've been leaving that open Just 
trying to line it up with my the grid lines on my mat here so I can get a somewhat straight cut, hopefully. There we go. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, maybe I can stick that back in another another spot. Okay, let's come back and finish gluing this down. Okay, so there's my map, um, my weather, put some of this in there so let's tear some of this off, don't need all that white space. Just do something almost like you're doing the corner tuck on a on a jump journal. And let's distress that. I think I'm finally caught up. Well, I'm on week 16. I think everyone else is either on week 16, finishing up, or, excuse me, i got to stand for a second, or beginning week 17. Um, I haven't seen any videos or anything for week 17. I haven't seen any for week 16 yet either. I've um, been a little busy. I haven't been able to catch up on my videos in the last, well, I'm actually since Friday, so I don't know what's been. I saw a lot of alerts of, um, videos being posted, but I haven't had a chance to look at them yet. Okay, let's see. Maybe another piece. I kind of like that little bit of that white. Just to offset the map. I wonder if I just tuck a small piece right there. What do you think? Well, it's like I'm not, you know, going to put that there. Kind of looks like it, huh? Hmm, let's see. I kind of like that there, though. So let's, let's start there. working with the Tim Holtz little paper dolls and people. I don't know how about you guys, but I don't have but a couple little straggly pieces here and there. I need to, um, I always look for them when I go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's, but I never seem to be able to find them. I don't know, where are you guys finding them? Are you buying them on Amazon or, um, because I don't do a whole lot of online shopping. I'd rather just go into the to the retail stores, the craft stores here locally, and then I have time to look, and I end up spending or getting way more than I need or should. But, um, yeah, I don't do a lot of online shopping. If that's where I need to find it, I guess I better start doing it because I think I have two more little pieces left, and I'm going to be completely out. 
Okay. I like that. So that's my handwriting. And then the postcard. I was going to cut that border, that white border off, but I think I'm going to leave that on there. Yeah, I think I'll put that there. Okay, number, that'll be last. That's something small. People. Edge there. Will you put them together? Yeah, kind of like that. Then it kind of looks like like they're just having a respite, maybe before they take the trail up to the cottage and the and the lighthouse. What do you think? I think I'm gonna go for that, guys. And then I'll just put a little ink around the edges of them. postcard too. Yeah, I like that. And then I have these flags. I don't know. Banner. Um, do I want to use any of these? Okay, well, let's put the postcard down and I'll do some little stronger glue on that since it's thicker. And I'm going to stand one more time so I can get this nice and straight. Try to. Okay. That'll work. And then I'm going to put him down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Travelers, they're traveling, traveling. That's a pretty scene, though, there on that postcard. My goodness. Okay, I'm going to put her next to him. Alrighty, what do we got? Rubber stamping number 
Oh, well, that's all that we have left. Okay. So let's get our number out here. I'm almost through this sticker pack here. Okay. Get it right up front here. Right up top. Stand again. Excuse me. Straight up. Okay. There's that. The other person. And rubber stamping. That's all I've got left. Um, so I'll use this, which was additional handwriting. That's a two for one. And I'll just use this one. I think I'll put some blue in there. That's what I was thinking. Excuse me. Sometimes you gotta breathe on these to moisten the pads. And um, I'm gonna put this paper towel underneath just to give it a little cushion. Hmm. Should have did that before I put them down. Down. Well, you know what I'm gonna do. I don't want to stamp on him. Ooh, that's real faint. You can't see it very well. I wonder. I'm try it one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm going to get another stamp, okay, guys? Or change the color one or the other. And if I just do it with my hands like this. Yeah, still kind of light, but it's there. Okay, so let's try the brown. Let's try the vintage photo. Probably should have wiped that off, but... Oh yeah, much better, much better. That blue is just so light, it's almost like a pastel. So, but it's there. Yeah. Let's put a little bit up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's enough of that one. Let me see what other color I've got here that might work. Let's just do black. And we can get another stamp also. I need to clean that one. And we'll go over that blue that where the blue didn't take there. There we go. Now we're cooking, guys. Maybe a little up here in this blank spot. Yeah. Okay. Let me 
maybe even a little bit. Maybe we'll just do the whole stamp. Now the butterfly doesn't want to go back. I like this stamp. Okay, weather, person, handwriting, map down underneath, a number, bonus, rubber stamping in two different colors. I used the brown and I used the black over the blue that did not take. So that is it, guys. Week 16 is done. Kind of a weathery scene. What do you think? How does that look? Okay. All right. Well, thank you for spending time with me today. I hope you liked what you saw. I appreciate you your time and I will see you soon. God bless.